too bad we were quarantined uh, during 420. It's real. It's too bad. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Uh-huh. Yeah. Everybody sing with me now. Everybody sing with me now. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 153? What? This must be a mistake. You can't do that many podcasts. Hmm. Now, I know. I know you're not supposed to eat while doing a podcast. But my stomach's so rumbly right now that I am going to puke. Okay? I'm going to puke if I don't eat. So I have to eat. I'm eating a muffin. Every once in a while, I'm going to take a bite. And look what else we got. The I forgot what it said. Oh, my God. How do you forget what the fucking mug says? Whitest Sneakers Award. The mug is back, people. Which means Janice is back. Hello, Janice. But she's back to her old ways. Uh, as you can see, there's... There's no fluid in the cup, so. <clears throat> Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you, but it's not the card, but you find out anyway because I talk about it. Um, I, always, I, always end, I always end that statement with an um. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how I do that? Isn't it funny how, like, you know, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, next time you listen to a podcast, pay attention to how the people talk. Even do it with me. Uh, they always, they always say, um, and I've been noticing a lot of people love to say, you know, I'm definitely one of those people. They'll say something and at the end of their sentence, they'll be like, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's Tim Dillon's bad for that. And when I noticed it, I just couldn't stop noticing it and it was driving me nuts but then, uh, you know, if you don't focus on it that much, it, you won't you won't notice it. People will also say, like, 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 you know. Kind of drives you nuts, but. Carol fucking basket. You know, what do you do? Carol fucking basket. Coronavirus. Yeah, coronavirus is still going on. <clears throat> Probably will be forever. Um, I got my, uh, Carol did it shirt. You see that? And it says your mom's house at the bottom. Cause it's, it's your, it's a, your mom's house special. You know, Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky. They got their own podcast. They make t-shirts. They make great t-shirts. And I got one. I got one. Carol did it. Wore it to work yesterday. Everyone loved it. Like literally everyone. T a good t-shirt can get you a lot of attention, okay? If you take anything from this podcast, take this from me. I'll tell you this. If you have a good t-shirt, you're going to get some good attention, okay? <laughs> Fuck, I love muffins. I can just eat them all day. So 420 happened. Um, I don't know if I... When was the last episode uploaded? Was it during 420? Or was it before 420? Let me see. 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 Um, um, no, my name is Jamal. It was two days after 420. So I probably already mentioned 420. But, yeah. I just wanted to point out that Ryan the Leader 
one of the funny motherfuckers on the internet right now on the tubes and the twitters and the and the gram uh he put out a 420 video and let me tell you it's funny it's funny bro you should check that shit out plans for today are to uh play some animal crossing cuz i want to see if i can sell my turnips also one of my villagers moved out Winnie. It was a horse. A horse named Winnie. She fucking bounced, brother. And I'm okay with that because I didn't really like her that much. So I'm like, Winnie, get the fuck out of my village. No, it wasn't like that. She was. Just, she came up to me and she was like, hey, I want to be a pop star. So I'm a bounce. And I'm like, yeah, pursue your dreams, bitch. I could use a new fucking villager anyway. So I'm going to try to get a new villager as well. Since Vinny's out of here. I called her Vinny. Her name's Winnie. Like Winnie the Pooh. Why is his name Winnie the Pooh anyway? You know Winnie the Pooh was a real fucking bear? Did you know that? Winnie the Pooh and Christopher Robin are real fucking people. Like look. The real Winnie the Pooh. They're fucking real dude. Winnipeg or Winnie was the name given to a female black bear that lived at a London zoo from 1915 until her death in 1934. Rescued by Cavalier veteran Harry Colburn, Winnie is the is best remembered as Winnie the Pooh. Okay, so maybe Christopher Robin wasn't real. <clears throat> yeah, I remember there was these commercials that were only aired in Canada. And they were, you know, they would just give a little segment about how Winnie the Pooh was a real fucking bear, dude. And I couldn't believe it as a child. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? He's not even yellow. He's not even wearing a red shirt. This is bullshit. Anyway, go check out Ryan the Leader's 420 uh, special. Go check it out, bro. I mean, just go check it out, bro. Don't be a fucking slimy salamander. I got, um... Mmm. That's so disrespectful. Why the fuck are you eating? I don't want to listen to you slap your lips. Glug, glug! Um, where was I going with this? I don't know. Just yesterday, the Pentagon decides, let's declassify some Navy videos that, what the hell is this word? Purportedly? Pur purportedly shows UFOs. Okay, so UFOs were released, but what the fuck is this word? Purportedly? What is that? What the fuck does that word mean? As appears or is stated to be true, though not necessarily so, allegedly. Hmm. That's a weird word. Anyway, they they purportedly show UFOs. It's kind of kind of cool. It's pretty cool. I think I've seen these videos though, because they were leaked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Pentagon declassifies three previously leaked. Top secret U.S. Navy videos. I think they were even featured on the Joe Rogan fucking experience. Maybe I shouldn't say fucking a lot anymore. Because the more you say it, the more the algorithm's like, uh, I don't like you. Even if, even if you make your video not, you, there's an option that you have to. To select now when you upload a YouTube video, okay? For those who don't upload YouTube videos, there is an option that you have to select. You have to ch check either, yes, this is for kids, or no, this is for kids. If you check, no, this is for kids, I mean, <laughs> no, this is not for kids, or no, this is not, no, this, no, this is, yeah, no. <laughs> Because you know how sometimes you use two negative words in the same sentence and they cancel each other out? That's what I thought was happening, but it wasn't. Okay, you, you no, this is this video is not for kids. Okay, you select that, and it doesn't matter. Even if you say stiff, 
<laughs> stuff that's not for kids. It still fucking uh, blocks your shit. YouTube's fucked, man. Just let us, if we want to make adult content, let us make it. We have the option to say it's not for kids, but that's not good enough for you. It's like they don't even care. They just disregard it. They're like, okay, it's not for kids, but this isn't kid safe, so we're just going to block you. So why do you have the option then, YouTube? Why do you have the fucking option? Anyway, here's some UFOs. Dude, this is a bro. Yeah, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. I can't My believe. God. I can't believe. Okay. <laughs> Could you imagine, like, like, we live in a fucking... It's great times. It's well, bad times. 2020 is not so great so far. There's countless amounts of shit that has piled up onto us, and we're only in fucking April. But we're living in a time where the fucking, uh, you know, the most professional fl uh, pilots in the world, in the U.S. Navy, are sitting in their planes calling each other bro, <laughs> saying there's aliens. This is cool, man. We're living in cool times. Like, let's rewind this and listen to the guy. He's like, yo, bro, there's fucking aliens or something. Dude, this is wrong, bro. Wow, bro. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. They're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. Oh, I think, dude. Whoa, dude. It's fucking aliens, dude. <laughs> Who are these guys? Who gave these their fucking pilots like? That's not an LNS, though, is it? It's not. I do an LNS, dude. Like this sounds like a couple of teenage fucking gamers on online or something. You've probably heard that selling on Amazon is a great Shut way to fuck start up, a business. Dude. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand these commercials. Where they're like, hey. Look, there's a fucking pyramid right there. Oh, he's explaining what a pyramid scam is, I think. We're like, hey, uh, I start off with nothing. And now I got this big house. And you can get it too. If you just follow these three simple steps. Like, it's so fucking overused. Do you really think people are going to fall for that? And they do. Okay? People still fucking fall for this shit. Because people are dumb. And people love to take advantage of dumb people. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Go ahead. Do it. Take advantage. Take advantage of the dumb people. We don't need them. Okay? If you're dumb enough to fall for this shit, then you know what? Whatever, man. Why, why is there so many dumb people? Why are there so many goddamn dumb people? There really is. If you, you know, you just live in the world. If you work in a job where you have to deal with people on a daily basis, like in a restaurant or or whatever retail job you're in, you deal with people every day, uh, you start to see a trend. You notice like a trend. When you're around large groups of people, uh, it's weird how... We're all so similar in our own specific ways. And you can start to categorize people into specific categories. <laughs> so you have people who come in and they'll be like, let's just use coronavirus as a topic. You have people who come in and they'll be like, ah, they're, they're just like super cautious. The cautious ones who wear the gloves and the masks at all the time. Then you have the people who really don't give a fuck. And they're like, this is bullshit. This is the flu. Like... You know, you just see how people act. And also, there's it's so weird how, like, there will be some days where just, like, nobody shows up to the specific place you're working at. And it's like, how is this? Why? How does this happen? 
Why is it that everyone made a decision not to show up to this place today? And only a few. I don't know. It's a weird. It's a weird thought. If you know what I'm saying. Come here, Ubo. Come here. Look at all oh, Ev. It's Carol. It's Tom Nook. Doesn't he look like Tom Nook? The fucking Tanuki. Look, if you don't know who Tom Nook is, let me look him up. No, stay here, Olive. Tom Nook. We gotta compare you to Tom Nook, Olive. Look, you see this son of a bitch? Okay? There's Tom Nook, and here's Ubo. It's identical. <laughs> oh, there's something in my eye. For sure there's something in my eye. Oh my god, there's something in my eye? Oh, call the emergency. Oh, you want the muffin. That's what it is. But you can't have it because it's got chocolate in it. Ugh. He loves to lick in your mouth like those wolves. You you watch your mom's house and those goddamn wolves are licking in that lady's mouth. Ew. That's fucking gross, dude. Why would you let a wolf... Do that to the inside of your mouth, bro. You don't do that. And I'm starting to sound like those guys on the friggin' on the airplane looking at the aliens. Whoa, bro, dude, there's fucking aliens. <laughs> Whoa, bro. How did we even get our license, bro? I don't know, dude. Fuck. There's goddamn aliens, bro. It's cool times. Cool times we're living in. Because if that was footage from the 50s or something, they'd be like, they'd be absolutely professional. Like, up, 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 up. <laughs> I don't know the lingo. I don't know the lingo. Get down, Olive. Get down. Please, get down. I had enough of you. I'm wearing a black shirt, and you've got white fur or hair, whatever. And it's going to get all over here. It already has. Ha, huh, Carol Baskin. God damn. Damn it. Carol fucking basket. God. Oopa loopa, buddy. Carol fucking basket. <clears throat> uh, where's the classic? Come. Right here it is. Come. Oh, I, I, I want to mention this since, since we were just talking about Animal Crossing. So, Steve Zaragoza from the Valley Folk. You know, I'm a huge Valley Folk fan. Huge source fit. You know, just love him. Okay, and you know, obviously the loss of, uh, I mean, I shouldn't say the loss, but you know, the fact that Lee had to leave was not that great, but you know, at least the Valley Folk still existed, exists, but uh, so Steve Zaragoza, one of the members of the Valley Folk, has been uploading Animal Crossing streams, he's done 10 of them now, and I love them, he does a great job, he does these he makes a he makes a nice story out of it, and it's super funny and hilarious, and I recommend it. But uh, at the beginning of the stream he did yesterday, he mentioned that the Valley Folk is struggling uh, financially because of the, of the Corona times. Uh, they they mainly get their. Uh, support and income from Patreon and shit like they they he's been explaining that the Patreon numbers are diminishing rapidly and he has this worry that the valley folk itself might be no more and you know we just got to hope that doesn't happen, but it's a possibility. And if it does happen, that that's not going to be good. That won't be, that's not good. Okay. There would be nothing I would hate to see more than the Valley folk disappearing. That would, I don't know. It just, if you, you get this connection, you know, there you go. I just said, you know. But when you, you know, when you, you basically grew up watching these people and, and YouTube's different than TV because you, they actually talk and, and have conversations and podcasts and, you know, you connect with the fucking influencers 
And this will be the second time that, uh, well, even the third time, because there was source fed, there was, um, what the hell, a nuclear family, and then the Valley Folk. And so if the Valley Folk ends, then it's like, fuck, dude. Are they going to pursue another fucking thing? Or are they just going to stop? You know? Because I don't want to... I don't want the... I don't want the Valley Folk Source Fed crew to end, you know? And I mean... I don't know, dude. It would just it just it just hurt to hear Steve talk talk about how the Valley Folk could could come to an end. And so, you know, I know I don't get views on this, but if you like the Valley Folk, I uh, you know, I, w- I would love to be able to do something to help them, but there's nothing I can do. You know, unless I really fucking put 100% of my effort in and focused on nothing but that, but I can't do that. If I had a fucking audience, this would be my number one goal is to make sure that people subscribe to their Patreon. And so, you know, but I I don't have an audience, so I can't do that. So, but if you, you know, if you, if you are the one or two, (laughs) if you are one of the people listening to this, like literally the one and only, because there's only usually one person, um, then just, you know, if you have the connection to the Valley Folk, consider subscribing for even just a little while, you know? I would hate to see the Valley Folk come to an end. Um, Yeah, let's just jump back into Aliens here for a second. I mentioned last time... Uh, Duncan Trussell and the creator of uh, uh, what the fuck is it? Adventure Time. Was it the creator of Adventure? I don't know. Someone involved with Adventure Time. Mainly Duncan Trussell. I'm focusing on. They created a show on Netflix called The Midnight Gospel. It's an excellent show. I recommend it. But I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I'm slacking. Okay, I've been playing too much Animal Crossing, so. If you haven't seen it yet, I should stop playing with this because I'm going to drop it and break it. Uh, go check that out. But there is, I guess, a uh, a multiverse simulator user's manual in the show. <clears throat> and someone uploaded a version of it to... Uh, how do you pronounce this fucking site? Imgur? <clears throat> like, what the fuck kind of name is that? Imgur? Imgur? I don't know. It's a place where people post images. And they've got the whole manual here. And look how cool this fucking thing is. It's got great text. Like, I would love to just, like, print this out on some high-quality paper in a, in a, in a, um, not paperback book, but what's the other? The hard fucking book. (laughs) <laughs> in a in a nice book, you know, and have this put it on the coffee table. Even though I don't have a coffee table because I just don't have one. Isn't this cool? It's fucking cool, dude. So, you know, I'll the links are in the description for all this stuff. You can find the link for this. And if you've seen uh, Midnight the Midnight Gospel, you might want to check this out because it's cool, dude. If you're bored and you got nothing to do, just whip this out and fucking check it out, bro. Because it's cool, dude. Come. It's fucking cool. Celebrities. Celebrities. I hate that word. I hate the word celebrities. People are just cool. And people who do art and, uh, you know, be creative online. I just love people like that. I just, I connect so much to them. People hate them. People love them. I love them. Yeah, Duncan Trussell is so cool, dude. He's so fucking cool. Yeah. If you haven't, if you haven't checked out Duncan Trussell, check out Duncan Trussell. I actually recommend checking out Duncan Trussell before you even watch the Midnight Gospel, so you can really get an idea 
of what kind of character Duncan Trussell is because he is an absolute unique character. I've you remember earlier I was talking about how people fall into these patterns and you can, you know, put them into different categories. Duncan Trussell is in like such a unique category that not a lot of people are in. He's so unique, dude, and I love it. And he inspires me to be unique because I deal with people every day. And so I see people fall into these trends. And when I see myself fall into these fucking uh, trends like a goddamn sheep, I feel like an idiot. So when I get to listen to people like Duncan Trussell, I can uh, fall out of those. Uh, uh, I can fall out of out of out of line. And do things out of the ordinary. It's great. Uh, don't be a sheep. People, I'm not done my muffin yet. No, I'm not. Mm, um, oh, it's so good. I heard something about that bagel boss. Remember that guy who freaked out in a bagel store? That short guy? Apparently he died or got corona or something. It's just a rumor. Let's start that. Let's start the rumor. Let's say he got corona and died. Let's say that. Let's, I should no. Let's not do that. That's that's really rude and mean. Um, speaking of influencers, Chelsea Peretti, you might know her from, um, what the fuck is that show called? Brooklyn Nine Nine. I keep wanting to say Reno Nine One One for some reason. She's hilarious. Uh, she's married to Jordan Peele. She's a comedian. And uh, she <laughs> she recently put this fucking EP out on, on Spotify and all the other streaming platforms. And I, I've checked out a little bit of it. But I can't tell if this is like some sort of comedy joke thing. Or if she's actually serious. And you know what? I love that. I love it when a comedian puts something out. And you can't tell if they're joking or not. And that's what they want you to think. But if you... And, it, and, and it's like, they take it so seriously. But they don't at the same time. And so if, if some outsider comes in and checks out this EP... They're just going to think this is like someone who 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 is dedicated to the EP and is not, you know, is not a, they're not going to realize this was done for a comedic point of view, you know? So they're just going to like watch this and they're going to be like thinking she's serious about what she's doing. But she's not. But you can't even tell, dude. And I that's interesting. It's so interesting. The EP is called F Foam and, and Flotsam. Flotsam? I don't know. Wait, she was promoting it, and I was like... Because she was promoting it like, like she was serious, like... I can't believe I finally put out my EP. I worked so hard on it. But then if you look deeper into it, that's her just joking about this, you know? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It's like she very well could be serious about this EP. But I haven't dug deep into it enough. And there's not really much to dig into unless you actually know Chelsea Peretti. She's super funny. And she's super funny. <laughs> uh, you know what I was gonna say. She's super sexy. Yeah, I'm not like I don't even I don't have to say though. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have to. I don't. Uh, dude, come on, man. Like, why do you gotta say that? It's been. Yeah, I deserve it. I love that. <laughs> That's 
too early, dude. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Oh, it was fucking delayed. <laughs> Why is that funny? Wait, try wait, to keep wait. this like uh, a fist. <laughs> wait, try wait, to wait. keep this like. Wait, try wait, to keep wait. this like. Uh... Very good. That's very good. The fast way is is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. So I'm just looking through all my fucking stuff here. I got the small stream deck, the one with only six fucking buttons. I need one with like twenty. But that's expensive, bro. So why don't you send me one? You guys got any bags of bird ham? <laughs> That's Steve Zaragoza right there. We gotta, we gotta protect the valley folk, people. They're gonna die. They're gonna, they're gonna go away. I don't want them to go away. Don't want them to go away, bro. I don't, though. Did you hear that fucking Kim Jong Un died, and then it turns out he's not dead? Like. They put out this news source, news article, where they were like, Oh, Kim Jong Unifer's dead. Or he's reportedly might be dead. And we don't know, though, because North Korea is not saying shit. And then it comes out uh, two days ago, for me, two days ago, um, CNN Philippines. <laughs> I don't know why, the Philippines. Zoom in, for Christ's sakes. Why isn't it zooming? Okay, there we go. Kim Jong-un is... Oh, wait. Kim Jong-un is alive and well. He has been staying in Wonsan area since April 13th. No suspicious movements have so far been detected, South Korea tells. <sighs> this could be all fake, you know? Uh... If North Korea wants to keep this a secret, they're going to keep it a secret. Okay? It's just what they do. Tim Dillon. He's a great guy. Fuck Tim Dillon. So funny. He says, thank God. Finally some good fucking news. Tim Dillon is beautiful. He's a beautiful. He's, he's just. He's a great person. He's very funny. Very, very funny. And he's super controversial, but he does a great job at doing controversial comedy, bro. He's great at it. Highly recommend. He's been on like everyone's pod, everyone's comedy podcast over the past week. I don't know why. He's just been everywhere, and I've been loving it. I've been loving listening to him. And he does this running joke on each podcast, which I'm getting sick of hearing, where he goes, because uh, he took the antibody test. For the coronavirus at uh, at Joe Rogan's studio. <laughs> and he said, if I show up as having the antibodies, I'm going to go to Wuhan and I'm going to eat a bat on Instagram Live. Which is a fantastic idea. Don't get me wrong. Like, beautiful, beautiful. Like, you want to talk viral video? That's, that's, that's. That's top-notch material right there. And so, you know, he says that in every single podcast he's on, so I'm getting sick of hearing him saying that. But other than that, you know, he's a, he's a funny guy, dude. And he lived a crazy life. He's a... Uh, he's... Uh, uh, I would like to make this pod this episode a little longer. We're only thirty five minutes in. I would like to bring it to at least an hour. The last few episodes haven't even been an hour. They've been close. They've been like forty five minutes or something. They've been like forty five minutes or something. What are you looking at? Carol fucking basket, you bitch. <laughs> Carol fucking basket. Nom 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 What is that? 
Look what I found. I love how slow this zooms in. Fuck do I love it. Look at this. Look what I found. What is that? What the fuck is this? What could this be? I should post it on Reddit and say, what is this? You know, I love Reddit, but I also don't like it. Here's why. There was a time when I wanted to post to the subreddit called, um, what is this rock? Okay. I got phlegm in my throat again. <clears throat> It's a subreddit where you post, was it, was it, what is this? Yeah, you post pictures of rocks, and they tell you about them and tell you what they are. So I found this rock, because I used to have a job that required me to dig into the ground with high-pressure water and suck it up with a vacuum. Anyway, so I found this rock that was, like, cut in half, and on the inside, there was, like, uh, you know when you bite into... Or you get into the center of uh, a jawbreaker, and there's, like, the rings of different colors. That's what this rock was like. There was, like, an orange ring, and then, like, a kind of a pinkish color, and then another brownish color in there. <clears throat> and it was, like, cut perfectly in half. I was like, this is a cool rock! So I took a picture of it, and I posted it on, what is this rock? <clears throat> uh, fuck! Give me a napkin, bro. I don't know why whenever I film this shit, I get like phlegm in my throat. Maybe it's this room. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, The Rock. Remember when I did that episode and there was like snot all over my mustache? I can't believe I didn't even notice that shit. I didn't feel it though. Like it was on my stash, so I didn't feel it. Anyway. Get down, Noobel. Get down. So I post on this subreddit. They fucking block me and ban me from the subreddit because I didn't, uh. I didn't do something. I can't remember what the fuck I didn't do. I didn't do something specific that they wanted, like, uh, I don't know, a flare or some shit. I don't even know what a fuck a flare is. Yeah. Reddit's so picky. The fucking moderators on Reddit are so go yeah. uh, goddamn picky. Sometimes. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack, dude. Why is what? Get, like, fucking hiccups and then, and then like, my chest. I don't know. I'm going to die one of these days. On these fucking episodes. But who cares? No one cares about me. Just get out of town. Ubo, I know you gotta go outside. You just went outside. We're gonna go for a walk in like... I don't know. After I do the dishes. Okay? So just hang in there, bro. Just hang in there. I know it's warm outside. And I know there's nothing more you would love to do than to just go for a stroll. But I need you to hang on to your trousers, okay? Just fucking grab your trousers and hang on to them. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, here's something to talk about. Okay, here's something I want to talk about. This will this will this will pass some time by. <sighs> okay, so Jeffrey Star, you don't if you know Jeffrey Star, do you know Jeffrey Star? You should know Jeffrey Star. If you're involved on YouTube, you'll know who Jeffrey Star is. But for those who don't, let me explain. Jeffrey Star is uh I'll just read his description here. A self made makeup magician, CEO, owner of Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, mom of six Pomeradians, singer songwriter apparently, and killer killer merch. Um, okay, so this guy is, like, the most famous other than, like, um, what the hell is that other guy's name? What the fuck? He calls his fan sisters. 
doesn't matter. So Jeffree Star is like the most famous uh, makeup influencer on the internet. He is super rich. He worked with Shane Dawson to make some shit. Anyway, so he made this line of makeup. Uh, women love it. Like they just fucking go insane over it. Anyway, this this so this girl post she posts this video on Twitter. Um, I'll just read her description. Uh, it's my sister's birthday, and I surprised her with the Bloodlust palette. Okay, that's one of Jeffrey's palettes. She's literally crying that much because she loves you endlessly, at Jeffrey Star. Look how you make people emotional. Happy birthday, at my sister, Mar Martellatini. Like, and then, and then. And then she posts in the fucking comments three times. Oh, man, I hate this. Please, I want Jeffree Star to see this. Please, Jeffree Star. Please, Jeffree Star. Okay, she's begging him to watch this video that she posted of herself giving her sister a gift. Now, let's just watch the video before I fucking lose my mind. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's all I can do. That's all I can fucking do, bro. So her sister starts crying when she gets the makeup. I cannot stand this shit. And I shouldn't even be talking about it because I hate it. But I hate it so much that I have to talk about it because I, I can't tell you how disgusting this is. This is disgusting, okay? Now, you may look at this and be like, what do you mean? This is a sweet thing. She's giving her sister a gift and she's excited and happy about it. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with people... You know, family and friends giving other friends gifts. I'm okay with the other party being the sister in this case, crying because she's, you know, happy for getting the gift. But what I don't like, now what I don't like is the fucking, uh, you know, the sister who's filming, the sister who gave the gift is purposely filming this to get her sister's reaction, she wanted her sister to cry so she could film it. And she's begging and pleading for Jeffree Star to see it so she can get some fucking views. This is the, this is the reason she did this. She gave this gift to her sister, purposely filmed it, because she knew there was going to be a reaction that she could fucking get viral from. I hate everything about this. Don't do it. Just give your sister the gift without filming it. You don't have to fucking profit off your goddamn family's emotions. Just live in the goddamn moment, dude. Why does everything have to be filmed and uploaded. Like it makes me think. You know. If she. Uh, didn't. Um, let's say the internet didn't exist. Or let's say. Viral videos wasn't a thing. Would she have even bought this for her sister? I don't know. You know. Probably. But, but the fact that, that she films it. You know. And her sister's crying, and she's like, look at my sister. She's crying because she's so excited to have your makeup. And, like, what the fuck? This, this is another... Why are you crying? Don't cry. Okay? I know I said I'm okay. You can be excited about getting a gift, but don't fucking cry over a makeup palette. Like, what the fuck, dude? How goddamn... We're so... We're so goddamn spoiled... We live in a world where we're so spoiled, our problems are so minuscule that we have nothing to complain about. So we start complaining about 
bullshit. Stuff that doesn't matter. Like, oh my god, I can't even watch my show tonight because I gotta do this fucking video. And then you got people who receive a fucking makeup palette and they cry over that shit. Like, fuck off. I can't stand these videos. They're disgusting and I wish they didn't exist. But they do. And, of course, Jeffree Star fucking replies to it. And he's like, oh, this is so sweet. Like, bullshit, dude. This is bullshit. This is such bullshit. I don't even want to fucking tag them in the goddamn description. But I have to because I'm using their video. <sighs> anyway, let's just scrub through it. It's just her crying. She opens it up and it's like, oh my god. Oh my god, it's makeup. Fuck off. Don't cry over that shit. Don't cry over goddamn makeup. Here's something funny. Once more. Let's just watch it once more. Isn't that nice? Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Now this, this is content. This is content, okay? No one knew this was going to happen, and it did. So this is, this is, this is material, okay? You're at a park, you're fucking around with a drone, you're trying to figure out, okay, well, let's, let's film something. Look at all the trash everywhere, too. Like, there's fucking champagne bottles. There's a champagne bottle there, and then watch. There's like another water bottle and then some pink thing and then a, a wrapper. Anyway, you go to the park. You film something with your drone. Your fucking girlfriend or whoever falls into the fountain. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Unexpected happy accidents. Don't cry over makeup. Fall into fountains. That's my advice. Oh, right. It's a gif. It's a gif. You can't fucking escape, dude. It's a gif. Let's get some shoes. I bought some shoes yesterday. I really did. Makes me worry for the future. What is going to happen, bro? What is going to happen when the future... What's going to happen in the future? What's going to happen? It worries me. Because we're so soft. We're so soft, dude. We're a bunch of soft softies. We're all going to crumble. We're all going to crumble and fall into shambles. We just keep getting softer and softer, and it's going to get to a point where... You know, we break out into a big war or something, and then we all harden up a bit, and then the cycle's going to repeat. I don't know. What do I know? Let's see if this thing can spin like a top. Oh, my God. It's spinning like a top. I should zoom in to show you this. I'll do it on my phone or something, since I can't zoom into the table. Carol fucking Baskin. Yeah, let's see if I can do it on my phone. That would be fucking sweet if I could. Oh, oh my God, I'm doing it. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Oh, this is content. Now this is content. <laughs> wow. That's a first for the Dynamite Gizmo Experience. Wait, what? Dynamite Gizmo Experience? What is this? The Joe Rogan podcast? No, it's the, uh, that's the Joe Rogan experience. Just sh shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, the last thing we're going to talk about is uh, Mr. Beast. He did this uh, influencer rock, paper, scissors tournament quarantine style, and it was excellent. It was, it was so well done. You know, 
fuck do I ever love Mr. Beast? You know, he's just, he's so good at YouTube. He really knows what he's doing. And he knows how to do it. He knows, God, he's so good at, at using YouTube to his advantage. And I'm so jealous. But I love him. I love how good he is at it. Um, it's 30 minutes if you want to watch it. Just, it's creator versus creator. A um, bunch of people in here. Even Jack Black showed up. Where is he? There he is. Um, it's basically just tournament style. But... <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Everyone's at their home. They do like a, a three, two, one counter. And when the animation goes away, you hold up your rock, paper, or scissors. And, you know, best two out of three moves on to the next round. And it was great. It was actually like you'd think that'd be boring, but it was fucking... It was so well done, dude. The animations, the... The, the screen on the background, the, the, the cutscenes to the to the two announcer people, Chandler and Chad, I think his name was. It was just very well done. And I just wanted to, I don't know, I just wanted to mention it. And so not only that, it was also a fucking, uh, uh, like a, a fundraiser for COVID-19. <laughs> and they raised over a million dollars. And so for, and also for every dollar... That was um, donated. Google would match three dollars or two dollars to the one dollar or something like that. It was just really good. I I enjoyed it. I I started watching like maybe halfway through or something, or maybe a quarter of the way, because at one point the stream uh cut up. <laughs> the stream fucking stopped because. <laughs> one of the influencers, I don't know who he, I don't I don't know him, but one of the influence, influencers involved in this like leaked the the Zoom code or whatever to get into this and then it just got flooded <laughs> with fucking people and so they had to shut the stream down and then start it up again. Yeah. There's Jeffrey Star by the way. Jeffrey Star versus uh Casey Neistat. Ooh. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Jeffree Star has a tooth tattooed on his middle finger. <laughs> and a gun. What the fuck? Uh, yeah, and that's Casey Neistat. Casey. Casey's fucking awesome, too, dude. Just so many cool people. So many. Well, that's really it. That's all I. That's all I have. Um, I do have some recommendations though. Uh, the other day, well, for a while now on Twitter, I've been noticing this guy. Uh, goes by the name of Lil Aaron. Uh, he's like a a music producer slash rapper, I guess you call him. And I never really checked him out. Until he posted this music video and then Gus Johnson retweeted it. And then I checked out the music video and I was like, oh my god. Like the guy's not really a big influencer yet. He's got 27k subscribers, which is, a, you know, it's a good amount. But he's not like, he's not up there in, in, in views yet. Like this music video only has 13,000 views. But this, this fucking song, dude. It's called Vans Untied by Lil Aaron. And I highly recommend it. The music video is pretty cool, too. It's like Tony Hawk Pro Skater themed. And it's just, it's, it's a great song. And so when I heard this, you know, I, I instantly became a fan of Lil Aaron. And I'm going to start following him. And I'm going to watch him grow. Because I've done this with a lot of people. You know, you jump on the bandwagon early on someone and watching them grow into someone who's extremely popular is just so cool. It's so cool to watch someone grow like that. Um, 
The only shitty, like some, but the only shitty thing is you'll watch people rise to the top, and then sometimes they don't stay there and they fall down to absolute nothing, dude. And there's so many that I've seen do that, and it's just a a real fear of mine that you know I haven't even gotten to the top yet, not even close yet, but uh, you know. It's a fear of mine that when I get there, that eventually I will die down into nothing. I mean, everyone, you know, you can't stay famous forever. Some people can, but yeah. So I recommend Little Aaron. There's also one other recommendation that I want to I wanna shout out here, and that is um, uh, um, <laughs> if you go to the Gus and Eddie podcast, okay, there was an episode where they talked about where they were talking with Gus Johnson and his two brothers Thor and Sven and <laughs> such fucking weird names dude Gus Thor and Sven <laughs> but they're all fucking hilarious anyway so they had this this thing when they were a kid they uh there was this wall in their bathroom that had like a booger on it <laughs> And they couldn't figure out who put the booger on the wall for, like, years. And they still haven't figured it out f- to this day. This happened when they were a kid, and now they're all adults now. And they still have no idea who did booger wall. And so they just uploaded an episode of on the Gus and Eddie podcast where they did a booger wall trial. <laughs> where Eddie is, like, the judge. <laughs> <laughs> and Gus, Sven, and Thor are all defending themselves, <laughs> trying to plead against the booger wall to figure out who did it. And I haven't watched it yet because it was literally just uploaded a few minutes ago, and I cannot wait to check it out. Like, I'm going to go for a walk right now after I do my dishes, <laughs> and then I'm going to listen to it. And I'm I'm super excited to f- to figure out how this all resolves itself. If it even does, maybe there will be more parts to this trial. So, yeah, Booger Wall and Lil Aaron, check them out. Anyway, that's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, Carol fucking basket tells you to uh, smash that bell notification. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye!